So now we've isolated our object here. How do we show the rest of the objects on the page? The way I did it was I rolled the, the wheel in. So now I'm going to roll the wheel out and we can get that. So if I'm interested in seeing this over there, I move my cursor up to there and I roll it forward. There are some other tools which are often used and these are these standard zoom tools over here. So you've got the plus key which zooms you in and the minus which zooms you out. The keyboard equivalent of these two is the gray plus and minus keys on the right hand side on the numerical keypad. So for people who don't have a wheel mouse, what you do is you move your mouse onto the point of interest and then you hit the gray plus key on the right hand side or the gray minus key. So you move the cursor where you want it then you hit the plus key. This thing here is called zoom extents and it will fit the entire drawing onto the screen. And so what often happens here is that people end up drawing a line or something that is way bigger than what they think. And they're busy drawing over here and then they try and print it and it ends up printing on, you know, 50 pages. And what they need to do is to come to the zoom extents and you can see there's the tiny little drawing and this is the massive thing that you've drawn over here. So in this case, I'm just going to delete that bigger thing and then hit zoom to extents and now it'll show me the full drawing from there. So the zoom window works very similar to the selection thing where you actually click and then you move and you click again but it will define the view according to the zoom. So I'm now interested in this piece over here. So I'll go zoom window, click there and click there and then that will become my screen. So now I can zoom out a little bit and then I want to go and zoom in on this section. So click there and click there and zoom that in. What is interesting to see here is this in combination with the aerial view. Now the aerial view is just a palette. So again, I'm going to click this. I'm just going to drag this palette into the right hand side here so we can look at this. And this is a nice way of, of controlling the view of uh, zooming in and out. So you see a zoom extents and you can see the view is on the extent. Now I use the zoom window and I zoom to this section there and you can see it's defined that little window in that area there. So this is a good way of understanding how the zoom window works and you can see how tiny the area is that we're looking on the screen. Also what I like this for is for panning. So I can zoom in here if I I drag a window over here and you can see it changes the view relating on the left hand side and then even panning. So I can go pan to this side, I can start drawing a line over here, I can click a line there and I can pan to this side and finish it over there. So then come down here, start a line over here, let's start it at the end of this V for vertex. I'm going to pan up to here and I'm going to end it up there with a V for vertex and then I can come back to zoom extents and I also have the zoom extents in the right click over here and you can see uh, you know I think that those are very important and um, the vector pan is going to move my drawing around and you can see um, how that affects the window and the area that we're looking at over there all right Excellent. Uh, how about zoom to selection? Zoom to selection is a nice one when you've got an object like that selected and you choose this one here and then it'll zoom, fit whatever you've got selected on the screen. This one over here is zoom to full view. This is more related to paper space. And now you, you see if I'm in here and I say zoom to full view it'll show me the paper. What can be tricky there is if you've actually drawn an object much bigger than the page. So you can see I'm drawing it much bigger than the page. Now a zoom to extents would fit that on but a zoom to full view would show me only the paper. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is a specifically a paper space view over there 
one to one will try and make the uh, drawing appear at the same size that it would uh, if you printed it. So you can see here I'm in big inches here. So no, so when I go one to one, the distance from there to there is probably similar to what an inch would measure in the real world. Okay. Then we have a previous view and a vector pan. We've discussed that. And the redraw is to get rid of the blips on the screen, as you will remember. Yeah. Um, the one thing I'll mention, you, you briefly touched on uh, paper space. We've got that whole topic covered in another one of our training products called the Print Solution. The CAD called Print Solution. Yes, and we, correct. And we talk about how to, you know, transfer drawings from model space to paper space with correct scale and a whole bunch of stuff.